This is Twit. This is just today, February 18th, this morning, uh, we get the news. And in fact, I in my notes, I said, speak of the devil, um, Belkin. Uh, Slashdot ha- has the story, and and this is the, regarding Belkin's so-called WEMO, W-E-M-O. And I didn't even think to wonder what it actually stands for, because I was going to say if it was WEMO, then this is way more access than you intend to give to your household appliances. I think it's like remote, uh, re- remote, remote. I don't know. I've used them. I love them. We reviewed them. They're great. Uh huh. I don't yeah, think they're that widely used. Uh, um, um, half a million of them, huh. or half a million huh. users, apparently. Okay. Uh, they're 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 claiming at least that's only one sixth as many people who have Java in their. <laughs> you device. can control your Wemo with if this then that, so you can have it respond to various things. It can it has a motion. There's motion detectors. There's turn on lights. They're, they're all internet connected. So it's, it's, if it's, if it's, this then that, that's a cool little thing. That sounds like a little logic flow. Oh, Disney you haven't stuff. seen that site? No. Ifttt.com. Oh, wait you're going to love wait, wait, wait. it. You're telling me you're giving some website access to you, the devices in your home? Oh, sure. What uh, are they going to do? Okay. Turn off the lights? <laughs> oh, there's a lot of stuff you could do with if this and oh, that. Oh, nothing could go wrong with no, that. No, no, no. It's wonderful. It puts the internet to work for you. How could That's you? That's right. How could you not? That's... I use it. It works with the Nest. Uh, works with the Hue lights. So, for instance, when the when the sun goes down, I have my lights uh, turn on. Uh, because of some third-party internet site that's yeah. like sending commands to your home? Yeah. Oh, my God. I just sign into my if this, then that, <laughs> and I create a recipe. It works with Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Craigslist, Google Drive, Foursquare. Well, then in that case, I have a context for you, Leo. Yeah. The, the context of this next story is that hackers don't even need to break in to if this, then that. <laughs> To gain access, direct access to the, the devices you have in your home, uh, which are light switches, outlet outlet plugs, motion detectors. They're also announced in, in this year. They're partnering with Mr. Coffee, the Crockpot Company, and Sunbeam, and others to bring home automation to your favorite everyday appliances. What it does explain possibly... why the other day I came home and my coffee maker was on, my thermostat was turned all the way up, all the lights in the house? were on and the TV was set on a porn channel. I thought it was my kids. Run away, Leo. <laughs> no. I'm You've just, lost control I'm of teasing. your home. <laughs> That's what happens when you have children. It's the same. So a security researcher uh, who has a little firm, IO Active Inc. Um, I had his name here and I don't see. Oh, Mike Davis. Um uh, they put out a press release. There's a link to it. There's that PDF. Oh, sorry, not the PDF, the, the link above in the show notes, Leo. It says, IOActive Inc., the leading global provider of specialist information security services, announced today, that is this morning as we're recording this, that it has uncovered multiple vulnerabilities in Belkin Wemo home automation devices that could affect over half a million users. Belkin's Wemo uses Wi-Fi and the mobile internet to control home electronics anywhere in the world. Yes, even from the Ukraine, when you're not anywhere near the Ukraine, directly from the user's smartphone, and for that matter, anyone else. I'm adding that, of course. Didn't mean to embellish their press release. Mike Davis, IOActive's principal research scientist, uncovered multiple vulnerabilities in the Wemo product set that gives attackers the abilities to... Remotely control Wemo home automation attached devices over the internet. Number two, perform malicious firmware updates. Number three, remotely monitor the devices in some cases. And number four, access an internal home network. So they can use this as a beachhead. They can use the installed Belkin Wemo device essentially as a proxy to get onto your home network. Davis said, quote, as we connect our homes to the Internet, it is increasingly important for the Internet of Things device vendors to ensure that reasonable security methodologies are adopted early in development cycles, product development cycles. This mitigates 
their customers' exposure and reduces risk. Yeah, no kidding. Another concern is that the Wemo devices use motion sensors, which can be used by an attacker to remotely monitor occupancy within the home. Once an attacker has established a connection to a Wemo device within a victim's network, the device can be used as a foothold to attack other devices such as laptops, mobile phones, and attached network file storage. Um, for some reason, Belkin, Belkin's firmware in, uh, signing key is included in the firmware. The Belkin Wemo firmware images that are used to update the devices are signed with public key encryption. Oh, that sounds good. To protect against unauthorized modifications. Good, good, good. However, the signing key and password are leaked on the firmware that is already installed on the devices. This allows attackers to use the same signing key and password to sign their own malicious firmware and bypass security checks during the firmware upgrade process. Meaning that, okay, so it's nice that public key and crypto, you know, in, in, pu public key crypto encryption is been used for the firmware. It should not, however, include the private key and the password. Whoops. 